ever find yourself stuck in the middle of the sea? I'll sail the world to find you. If you ever find yourself lost in the dark and you can't see. Good morning, everyone. Good, Good morning, Mrs. Singer. Good morning, everyone. So, in more than one way, this is a very strange end of year assembly. It's a very strange assembly because this is already about take four. It's a strange assembly because I'm here with just the few year ones in Mrs Island's classroom and the rest of the school aren't with us. Usually at the end of school year we will be packed in the hall, we have all the children, all the teachers will be doing a lot of singing. We can't do any of that. Lots of children are still at home and just some of us are in school. So instead of singing lots, we're going to show you a film. Mr. Squid. anything could he everything he tried to do he got wrong and he just kept on trying and kept on trying until he got it right 
and then he really helped the lady at the end and then he was so proud because he got the reward he got that blue cake and that's the thing even if we can't do something at first we can just keep on and on trying so i had a little think what could we do for this last assembly and then i remembered remembered what the teachers did last summer the teachers haven't been able to do any silly videos this year can't get up they can't do a song for you but i thought what we do instead i would show you the film that they made last summer student of the week. Let's have a look. So Miss Hardy has given hers to Austin, Mrs Much has given hers to Jasmine and Mickey and Peter, Miss Charlesworth to Leo and she's given one at home for Miles Hook who's done some re who's a word millionaire that's what he's done this week. Mrs Harrison has given hers to Harrison. Should we give Harrison a clap because he's here? Mr Hargreaves, he's given his to Marley Lee. Mrs Price has given one to William Me and one to Heidi. Mrs Bowden has given hers to Luca. Mr Topham has given one to Carter and one to Leo Deacon who's done great work at home. Mrs Hutchins has given hers to Isaac. 
This is me to Lila and Miss Lusty to Ashley. So let's give everyone a big clap to the world. Right, team points. I wonder what I've done this week. Make it go, Mr. Squib, make it click. <laughs> So, this is the last time that I have to film an assembly. This is the last assembly of the school year. This is my last ever assembly. So, but I'm not the only person that we're saying goodbye to at the end of this term. We say goodbye to all of year six. We can say goodbye to some other children who are moving to other schools. And we say goodbye to Mr. Squib. Come here. And we say, <laughs> say thank you, Mr. Squib. Say thank, thank you, Mr. Mr. Squib. And we wish you lots of luck. Thank you very much. He's going to be here tomorrow. And we said yesterday we said goodbye to Mrs. Rymer. So say goodbye, Mrs. Rymer. Goodbye, Mrs. Rymer. Mrs. Rymer. We look forward to seeing Mr. Squib when he's coming back to teach, aren't we, Mr. Yes. Squib? Three years time. <laughs> Today, I had a really, really big surprise. I was sitting in my office talking to Mrs. Cridland, who's our chair of governors, and suddenly she said, "You've got to come outside." And I thought someone had got hurt on the playground. I thought something had got wrong. And when I turned the corner, all the children who were in school were out on the playground singing a song to me. And it was amazing. I have asked Mrs Hilton to put that song onto the school website so that everyone at home can watch it and everyone who was in school today can watch it as well. And then I got a beautiful book with wonderful pictures of everybody in the school and it's something that I can go home and I can read for a long time. So thank you all very much for that. And I got a really lovely swan bag. Every teacher who leaves here has to have something with a swan on it. And I got a really nice swan bag to put my knitting in. So thank you all very much. That was really lovely. I'm going to play another song now and that's the end of our assembly. Stuck in the middle of the sea I'll sail the world To find you If you ever find yourself lost in the dark And you can't see I'll be Right, Mrs Singer Normally you've got away with the big assembly The embarrassing moments That people remember about things that you've done While you're at That you've spent your time at Radipole and everybody gets a bit emotional, a bit teary. But on behalf of all the staff here, and all these amazing children, and that's what makes Radical special, I would like to thank you for everything that you have done. And I'd like the children to give a big cheer and a big clap as well, because we do all that children. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, Mrs. Island. It has been amazing to work at Radical. It doesn't seem like I've been here for more years than you've been alive, but that is true. And it has been really, really something special. And I've got lots of memories, some of which I might share with the teachers tomorrow. But have a really good summer, stay safe and have a good return to school in September. <laughs>